morning, everyone. I'm Andrew Madison, executive of the Black and County. And we're here for kickoff and day of caring. Normally, when we have our kickoff and day of caring, we're going out to the agencies and volunteering with special projects. This has been a table year for everyone, especially our nonprofits in Charlotte County. And it's really important as a community that we come together and we support them. So we decided that this was the time to do that. And here at the Fort Charlotte Town Center Hall parking lot, we have a tremendous swelling of community members coming to donate to our nonprofits. And they're donating items that they wouldn't believe would have to be spending money to get to serve our community. So we're really happy to be here today for our campaign kickoff to see all of our partners, our stakeholders, and I would like to introduce our campaign cabinet uh, co-chairs who are really helping to make our be a success this year. Then we have Cirrus Austrick with Charlotte County Government, and she is one of our campaign cabinet co-chairs. She will be one of the two touring around to our different agencies here on our campaign live this morning. I would also like to introduce Katie Wallace with Wallace Office. She's also a to help anyone that's interested in getting your GED and or That's wonderful. What kind of items are you looking to collect today? We're looking for personal care items as well as first aid items. Uh, oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
good nutrition and get out and make new friends. And if people are seeing this and want to come through and donate too, what are you collecting for today? We're collecting for our Healthy at Home holiday campaign where we put together gift bags, again, for those 60 and older of our clients who are homebound. And it's all essential products. And these are gifts that um, are everyday items to, to you and I, but for them, they are thrilled to get the bags, uh, toilet paper, shampoo, cleaning products, uh, activity books, Anything like that to help someone uh, stay home and be safe. Wonderful, thank you. Thank you. All right. Good morning. If you'd like to tell everybody a little bit about what you do, your agency, and um, any items that you're collecting for today. We're collecting gift cards for our clients, whether it's gas gift cards, gift cards to restaurants, groceries. And a little bit about the GCP is our mission is to facilitate facilitate wide initiatives to understand our community's needs and identify the best practices to meet those needs and rise and raise the quality of life for our residents. As the needs of our community changes, the initiatives and the projects of the Gulf Coast Partnership will also change, and that's by design. Having the ability to be agile and respond quickly to emerging issues in Charlotte County, to grant vital operating support to the agencies providing direct services to our community's most vulnerable citizens. In addition, we interpret state and federal codes and statutes and advocate for the needs of our agencies, for the communities, to our legislatures. Thank you. I think. All right. The next agency is Is there any items that you're collecting for today or anything you need to support with? Okay, so obviously we're the Sky Family YMCA. We're here to help the community. We've been open since this pandemic and we were actually helping a lot of the first responders. So we've been giving a lot to the community and what we've kind of asked for is a few donations. We're getting ready to do our Harbor Nights here shortly and those donations go to funding the kids that uh, require little grants and everything. <laughs> grants so they can have scholarships and come and do a lot of our programs. We're actually getting ready to do our trunk or treat here October 30th, so we'll hopefully see everybody. Uh, we definitely need more trunks, so if you would like to death break the trunk and help support the community, that would be awesome. Thank you. All right. Yep. We're going to take a moment to stop and thank one of our sponsors who is also driving through, dropping off some donations. Lindsay McKelvey with uh, Panther Hollow. Yeah, All right, if you would, um, obviously, we are thanking you for your support <laughs> for the day of caring. And um, why do you believe that it's important, or why did you choose to sponsor this whole event? Volunteers, you just need the heart for the job. We can teach you the rest, um, and we we're so thankful for your support and for the United Way here to help you know make our mission happen in the community. So thank you. Thank you very much, guys. All right, moving right along. Our next agency that we're going to feature is 
fair. Hey, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. If you guys would like to tell a little bit about CARE and um, what your agency is collecting today. already. This month, October, is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, so make sure you wear your purple. Purple is Purple Thursday, by the way. Make sure you take photos and tag us for care. We also have a couple events coming up. We have yoga and wine and our wheelbarrow of care. And basically everything else you can find on our social media is at, at Care Charlotte County. We have Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Great. Come support survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault in Charlotte County. Thank you. All right, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Sign in here. The next agency we have is Healthy Families. Healthy Families. Healthy Families. All right. Um, please introduce yourself, your agency, and let us know what items you're collecting for today. Great. I am Bonnie Benjamin, the program manager for the Healthy Families Charlotte program with the Florida Center for Early Childhood. This is uh, our family support specialist, Jill Parada. Um, our program is a nationally accredited home visiting program that provides uh, parenting support and education on child development and positive parenting strategies for families with um, actually who are prenatal all the way up to age five. So if anybody's interested in getting these awesome activities and parenting support, give us a call at 941-629. Today um, we are actually collecting developmental toys for children zero to five that we will be um, using for a holiday event of some sort. We're not really sure what that's going to look like yet, uh, but that's what we plan to use them for. Thank you so much. And thank you for all you do for our community. Thank you. All right. All right. Good morning. Our next agency up is, of course, the Harry Chapin Food Bank. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having us here. No problem. If you want to give a little information about the agency sure. and what items you're collecting for today. Uh, the food bank, our mission is um, to fight hunger and impunity, and we're collecting non-perishables today, which we distribute to 150 different partner agencies. Oh, yeah, and some of them are here today, and it's nice to see them, and it's good to be here, and everybody's already been so generous. We've already got food. In the back of the van. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And I'm sure we also have peaches today that are available if uh, okay, yeah. you'd like to pick up some peaches. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know it's been a, a struggle through COVID yeah. and the, the food necessity. Uh, yeah. We're doing 12 um, drive through distributions a week now. A week? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. I'm co-chair Sarah to continue down the line so that you can see the rest of our agency. Hello folks, how are you? I'm Sarah Sostria. I'm with, um, I'm a, serving as co-chair with Katie this year in the campaign I cabinet. And I am so glad and I'm hoping that you're out there watching all this. There's a lot of excitement going on. We have a wonderful selection of nonprofits who are so crucial to our community. We really need their help, and we need your help to help them so that they can do what they do best. Speaking of nonprofits, let's carry on with what Katie was uh, doing and meet some more. Um, over here, we have Virginia B. Vandis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful Thursday. Um, I'm Suzanne Roberts here at Virginia Beach Longer Community Clinic, and we have our wonderful leadership team here today, James Dukka, our clinic services director, Noreen Stravinsky, our director of operations, Rob Wellens, director of pharmacy, and Karen Amador, our director of donor development. And those of you that don't know us, um, we are the only free and charitable clinic. 
clinic uh, and pharmacy in Sterling County. Uh, last year alone, we uh, serviced over 20,000 patient visits and filled over 33,000 prescriptions. Uh, your generous donations today, we're proud United Way partners, will help save a life. We service, of course, only the uninsured in Charlotte County, and of course, going through COVID, we have remained open every single day, not closing one day. We want to make sure that we are there for our community, we are there for those uninsured, we are there for those hurting and in need, and with your charitable gift through United Way, which we're proud partners of, you can help save a life each and every day and be partners with us. So help save a life, help be partners with United Way, go United Way and VBA yeah. strong! Wow, thank you so much You're for welcome. everything that you do for the community. You guys are amazing. You guys, it takes our team. Yes, That's for sure. You're filling the void where there is a huge void. Absolutely. So, especially in these times, it's really amazing. What are you looking to, what are you asking for the community to provide today? We need, we're specific because our fundraising efforts really have been diminished um, because of being indoors and really just keeping people safe. So we're asking for gift cards, we're asking for gas cards, we're asking for thank you notes, we're asking for anything that we can help raise money through the clinic and not have an outdoor event right now. So if you can do that for us, that would help um, save us, save that over $200,000 that we've lost in revenue for our fundraising events, um, and we can help continue to save a life. Well, thank you so much sure. for everything that you do, and thank you for being here. Absolutely. Go hey. hey, United! <laughs> Okay, folks, we're going to continue on. We have Children's Network of Southwest Florida here. And uh, come on over and tell us who you are, what, who you with, and tell us all about your organization. Good morning. I'm Pam with the Children's Network, and our mission is to work with the community to protect children and preserve families. So today we're, um, we've already received donations of baby wipes and gift cards and basically anything that you can imagine that children in care would need. Um, and as always, we need heroes that are willing to foster and to adopt. So we appreciate this opportunity that United Way has given us. Given us, excuse me, to um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And what is your uh, what is your relationship with United Way, and how has United Way's efforts impacted what you're trying to do out here in the community? Oh, United Way is amazing, and they've worked with us since 2004 when the Children's Network came into being. Um, because United Way is mission to help people fits with ours. That's what we're all doing is helping um, families in our local communities. So um, our partnership with United Way has just been beautiful. Wow, well, thank you so much for joining us and good luck today. Come on over. Here, let's see what we have for you. Looking at Suncoast Humane Society here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I am John with Suncoast Humane Society. How's everybody today? Awesome. Hey, I got waves behind the camera, hopefully, <laughs> as you're watching on Facebook as well. Thank you so much. So Suncoast Humane Society is just shy of a beautiful 50 years old. We date back to 1971. Wow. Taking in right. I know we look good for 50. <laughs> um, okay, so you're only seeing me and, you know, whatever. Um, Suncoast as a whole looks great for 50. And we take in all animals, regardless of their age, their breed, their size, their temperament, their health. All fur babies are loved by us through manage intake. And we do that through sheltering, through um, our community outreach, and I'm missing one of them, and through prevention, as in our preventive health care clinic. So, lots of things happening. COVID has not stopped us. It's changed our practices a little bit, as y'all are aware, it's changed your lives and your practices as well, but we are still going to stop. Wow. And we love United for doing this. Thank you so much. Yes. Another way you've had to change to do what you're used to exactly. doing. Exactly. Well, yeah, we have a fearless leader. Yay. Well, thank you so much for being here now. Absolutely. What, Glad what, to be here. Tell the folks what it is that you're hoping to uh, get from this day today. What are you looking for? What we are, so some of the things that we've asked for are pet toys. So Kongs, peanut butter to go in them whether it's feeding puzzles, there's leashes, there's collars, there's pet food, cat, dog, dry, wet, um, paper towels, hand sanitizer, like the world doesn't want hand sanitizer right now and good luck finding it. Let alone Clorox wipes. So it's a myriad of things because everything is needed, whether it's food for our community pet food bank, whether it's toys, 
for you know to, for our animals to play with, to give to our fosters as they graciously foster animals during this time for us. Just bring it on. Well, thank bring you so much for everything that you do for our best friends. Absolutely, they yes. are. Yes. They are. They're and our best friends. We wish you a lot members. of luck today. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good one. Great, thank you. Thank you. So I'm Steve with Drug Free Charlotte County, and um, our goal is to have Charlotte County be addiction free. So the way we plan on doing that is by engaging, empowering, and equipping the people in the community. So what is uh, what is your relationship with United Way, and what what what, where do you actually join hands with United Way and what you do in the community? We actually have a really good relationship with United Way and we work with them, we partner with them in a lot of different things. So like today, one of the things we were doing is uh, for our Kids Thrive initiative, we were getting donations for the, the families, the babies, the diapers and stuff like that. And then for our, um, for our teachers, we're, we're doing every couple months, we're doing a teacher appreciation because it's such a hard time for them right now. So we were able to collect a bunch of candy and some candles and some gift cards to give to the teachers. The candy's here, it's just put away because we didn't want to put it out outside. Oh, are you? I want to get your hands on it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, so. thank, thank you so much for everything that you do for, for the community. And I, I'm sure we're very happy that you're partnering with United Way. Yes, uh, with the we're Kids thrilled. Pride. It's, it's a wonderful program and we hope to grow it. Yes, definitely. Yes. Yeah, we definitely want to grow. All right, well, thank you so much thank and good luck today. Hi, Darcy here with the Homeless Coalition. We would love to thank United Way for this day of caring. Um, all these wonderful supplies that we're getting for our clients and we've got the Homeless Coalition. Thank you so much. Yeah, tell us about your relationship with United Way and how it impacts what it is that you do for the community. Um, so we provide services to help alleviate hunger and homelessness in our community. We serve in our Coalition Cafe dinner every night to sheltered and unsheltered. We also have a food pantry where we serve um, families every Wednesday, 1 to 5, through drive through food pantry. And we also have an emergency shelter on site. Um, right now we have 52 in the shelter. I believe 17 of those are veterans, 7 children. And um, so we help transition them into permanent housing in our community. So all these supplies are used for those clients that stay at our emergency shelter, whether it be shampoo, um, might be bug spray for the ones that are, you know, living close in the woods. What, uh, what, uh, how, how does your relationship uh, work with United Way? I mean, what, what does United Way do for you? What do you do for United Way? United Way has a great collaboration with us to help provide the services that we provide, um, as well as, you know, many other nonprofits in the area connects us and with those nonprofits in the area. Well, thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. And good luck today. I hope you get a lot of the supplies that you're looking for. And thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank you, everyone. Everything. Thank you, United Way. Come on down here. Pantry. We'd love to hear from you. We'll keep our mask on. Mercy from TRAPS, which stands for Charlotte HIV AIDS People Support. Our goal is to provide food and hygiene items to people that are HIV positive and need. And today we're collecting sanitizing, clean air, and bar soap so that everybody can keep clean. Are those the items that you're looking for, That's folks? Right um, now, right yeah. now we've uh, requested bar soap okay. and disinfecting cleaner either in the Bible or we've got a bunch of Ajax in. All of that is vitally important to keeping our clients' areas, homes clean Wonderful. and safe for them. Well, thank you so very much for being here today and we wish you a lot of luck. Thank you. Thank you for the United Way. <laughs> Thank you.
United Way and how does United Way's um, function or, or um, activities affect what it is that you do for the community? United Way gives uh, help us with um, yeah, we've got to make sure that we use that money to um, supplement our and that's really good. That's that fun hand works when we try to connect with the families and get them into the program so that we can give them support the other thing that we are involved in is the Kids Thrive, and we want to just come up with some partners for the program. But I think you're going to be doing a separate release. Yeah. Very successful program. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you. Right? So thank you so very much for joining us. We're live on, uh, we're live on Facebook and hopefully uh, everybody out there can hear what you just said. Thank you so much for what you do. There's Vanessa Oliver, one of our sponsors. Oh, Miss Vanessa is here. We are live. Oh, hey, hi. How are you? Vanessa, no, you can hear us all the time. Yes. Hi, ladies. Are you with the Boys and Girls Club today? Um, and no, I'm just sort of floating around and volunteering. Yes. Tell us about your relationship with the Um, I'm a board member, a long-term board member. Um, I love the United Way. I love a commission to eliminate poverty. And I love events like this where we get to give back to our agency partners. Wonderful. Yes. A lot of nonprofits out there. What do you think? Yes. Oh, it's great. And I've seen so many cars. It's been really good and steady. Um, people tell us how many people have I love it. It is a very unprecedented uh, approach to this event, isn't it? Yes. Wow. Yes. It's so glad to see you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. And Vanessa, can you tell us why um, Ambitrans uh, Medical Transport is one of our sponsors every year, and we're so grateful. That's right. Hey, Angie, can you take a minute and tell us what's happening in that, that big truck back behind you? 
Thank you. 